Question number 10 gives you this curve and they give you the curve in both equation form and graph form. Um, finding the equation of the tangent, Roman numeral part 1, I'm going to use differentiation for that and the template for the equation of a line. Roman numeral part 2, equation of a normal, I'll do the same thing but adjust the gradient to be its negative reciprocal. Roman numeral part 3, two intersecting lines is often simultaneous equations. Roman numeral part 4, length of a join BC, probably use the distance formula. So that's my strategies, um, now let's get going. So find the equation of the tangent, so multiple choice box for that. That's nice and ready for calculus. Equation of a line. Use this template. X1, Y1 is a point that it goes through. How do you get the M? That's what the multiple choice box is for. You have to put, make a substitution somewhere. We've got X equals 3 and X equals 10. And Y equals 10. Uh, if you want the gradient, use this row, put x equals 3 there, you get 2. So that's the equation of the tangent. If you tidy that up, you get y equals 2x plus 4, I think. Let's just make sure that's sensible. Yeah, it's got decently high y-intercepts there. Now, the equation of the normal at 0, 10, we'll use the same template again. Hold on. Is 0, 10. Now, what's my gradient? Put a 0 in there, you get negative 2. We don't want negative 2, we want a half because it's a normal. I'm using whatever gradient it takes to produce a product of negative 1 when I multiply it with the gradient of the tangent. In other words, the gradient of the tangent and the gradient of the normal have to have values that are negative reciprocals of each other. So that's the equation of the normal. Tidy that up, you get y equals half x plus 10. Um, it wants us for full marks to show that that's the same as 2x, 2y minus x equals 20. Just double everything. So that's good there. So that's Roman numeral part 1. That's Roman numeral part 2. Find the equation of point C where these intersect. Solve them simultaneous equations. We're told that y is equal to 2x plus 4, y is also equal to half x plus 10, so therefore 2x plus 4 and half x plus 10 have to be equal to each other because they're both equal to the same thing. Double everything, you get 4x plus 8 equals x plus 20. Take away x on both sides. Take away um, 8 from both sides, you get x equals 4. Does that look like it's sensible? Yep, that's plausible. Um, where it doesn't just mean how far to the left or right, so it's not just an x-coordinate, it should be a y-coordinate as well. Um, use any one of these, if you put x equals 4, you get y equals 12. So where do they meet? 4 comma 12. Is that plausible? Yes it is. Just going to check that's the answer in the back. Yes, it is. And Roman numeral part 4. What's the distance between B and C? We have B. B was where the normal was. That's 0, 10. And the intersection point is what I just found out. We have a formula for that. It's two differences squared and then added. The difference of the x's. 
difference of the y's. There you go, so it's the square root of 20 is the distance between them.